I must say, what a beautiful morning. What a great day. No clouds, pure sunshine. Ah, so nice. More light in here. Well, if you are one of these people who are interested in electric vehicles, maybe you have done your research, you're reading a lot of articles about EVs, doing full size comparisons, battery capacities, electric motors, range. You may even thinking about ordering one. So you know a little bit about the technical side of electric vehicles or plug-in hybrids. The very next question you will ask is, how do I charge this car? And this is actually the most frequently asked question on forums. What do I do next? I've put my order in for my EV now, but what's next? How do I charge? Well, here's your answer. It doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you will get. If it's a pure electric vehicle like a BMW i3, a Nissan Leaf, Hyundai Kona, Hyundai Ioniq Electric, the upcoming Volkswagen ID3 or a Tesla. All these cars, they are coming with their own charging equipment. It's a bit like buying a mobile phone. You get a phone, you get a cable, you get a charger. Yeah, it, it would be totally weird if you just buy a mobile phone without any cable or charger, right? You, you wouldn't, you just wouldn't expect that. Yeah, well, no, nobody does that. Nobody sells just a phone without any accessories. So with every electric car and even plug-in hybrids, you get this little nice bundle. It looks a bit different from car to car, of course. This is the, this is the one Tesla supplies, but they're all doing the same thing. They charge your car. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. Well, pretty much the same as you get with your mobile phone. You get a charger, you get a cable. Well, ex except um, this this is not the charger. I mean, this would be a, this would be a ridiculous small charger for a large car, right? This this is not the charger. Don't many many professionals on the internet they they say this is the charger. The car comes with a charger. Well, yes and no. The car comes with a charger, but the charger is already built into the car. It's not an external device. This one here is not the charger. This is called an EVSE, electric, electric Vehicle Supply Equipment, EVSE. And what it does, it's more like a control box, like a security safety device, and it connects your car to a power source. And it, it does not matter what kind of car you get. As soon as it has a plug, you will get one of these devices to connect your car to a power source. Electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids, they all come with this accessory. Well, you may remember the good old times when we had the PHEV here and I bought another EVSE for it, like a switchable EVSE, so I, I could select how fast the car actually charges. So, in the box is my brand new shiny EVSE from Evolution, EV Evolution. So all these EVSEs, UMCs, control boxes, charging equipment, whatever they are called with other manufacturers, they are all compatible. So I can charge, so I can charge a Jaguar I-Pace with my Tesla UMC, but I can also use a device from BMW to charge my Tesla. So as long as the plug is the same, they all work. So now you're wondering why we have different connections here for the UMC. Well, the reason for this is we can charge the car from different power sources. And depending on where you plug it in, and depending on where you plug it in, the UMC will tell the car how much power it can maximum draw. So it kind of makes sure you're not overloading your power circuits. Well, the least thing you want to do is starting a fire, right? Yeah, and because we are in Australia here, we've got two different, we've got two different connectors for different power outlets. 15 amp, 10 amp. This is a blue commando plug, 16 amp, which can be found on caravan parks and campsites. And depending on what connection you are using here for your UMC, the UMC will tell the car how much power it can maximum draw from this connection without overloading your circuit. So you plug one end into a power point. So you open your charge port, plug in, 
And this is exactly how easy it is to charge electric vehicles. You bring your car home, you plug into a power point, you plug into your car and you start charging. It's not different from charging a mobile phone. And in most countries you will get another cable on top of the mobile adapter. It is a type 2 cable which enables you to charge from public charging stations. So if you're not at home. Well, here in Australia, we don't get this additional cable. We, we don't get this additional cable here in Australia. For some reason they don't put it in the car with Tesla. But what we get is a, um, is a full size... Um, well, what we get is a full size wall connector, a charging station for your home. Well, if, if you buy such an external charging station for home from, an, from a third party supplier, you pay about thousand to fifteen hundred dollars here in Australia plus installation. And these are the exactly same charging stations you find in hotels, restaurants and other destinations where people have installed um, destination chargers for Tesla vehicles. And as you can see, the, um, the plug is exactly the same. So it fits in the car, um, it just charges faster. Yeah, it, this one charges a lot faster than the mobile connector, of course. We will talk about different charging speeds for electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids in the next part of this video. I just want to keep this one brief and short because I know a lot of people are asking the same questions all over again in the forums and on social media. Yes, I'm interested in electric vehicles or plug-in hybrids, but how do I charge? How does this all work? So there you go. Like your mobile phone, you plug into a power source, you plug into your phone and you charge. You just plug into your car this time. And the battery will be full the next morning. So I'm not sure if any other country gets a free Tesla wall charger, wall connector for free as well with a car. I know in Europe the Teslas, they come with a type 2 charging cable. But here in Australia, we get an original Tesla wall connector instead. Oh, it also comes with a big installation book, all the accessories, screws, mounting box. Nice! Yeah, well guys, so far this um, short video I just thought I'd show you what we get in Australia instead of a cable and how to charge your car. Most frequently asked question. What kind of car? How do I charge? Well, I cannot really help you with what kind of car you will get, but rest assured the charging situation is already being solved. Other people put some thought in it. They give you the mobile charging equipment with the car. You just plug in, you charge, everything is good. All right, guys, there will be another part of this video coming very soon and we talk about different charging speeds and what kind of speed you actually need at home. What kind of physical cable connection you need to charge your EV at home. So until then, stay tuned, stay charged and stay safe in these times, you know. I am Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon. Thanks for watching, guys. See you then. Bye bye.